Hello everyone, I'm ExtraFuzzy87 and this is Let's Play Trails in a Reverie Part 86. In the previous video, we set out with our uh, equipped squads and fought a lot of the miniature boss type monsters. It basically, it was just combat, uh, so basically everybody just skipped the last video probably. Uh, because nobody, well, very few people watch even the boss combat stuff, so when it's just fighting random monsters, uh, yeah, that, that video's got, uh, no average retention, probably. But, all that's over, and now we're going to move forward and maybe fight a slightly more interesting fight. But first things first. We got no CP on Gaius, which means, uh, fucking take a Zerum capsule. Oh, oh, you know what, take another Zerum. Oh, no, no, don't, don't use your Zerum capsules outside of combat. They're really important items. No, you shouldn't just waste them meaninglessly. You know what? Fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep a couple. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh let's go fight. Is this really Reen's team though? Reen's got Murakumo right now. What the hell is he gonna do? I did also slightly change our court setup. I gave Elliot Chrono Drive, just like a like a super one. Our ultra ones <gasps> on somebody else. Because after thinking about it, we don't really need Laforte because Gaius and Kurt can buff themselves. So speed was more important, and we get a little extra speed on him. So the uh, not Wazi party. The Wazi party's goaded. Uh, the current party should be a little less ass. Reen, you made it! Rappers! I'm so glad you're all right! <laughs> and the same to you. <sighs> Another barrier? Do you see anything on your side that could get it down? Hmm. Maybe that little computer thing there? Could that be for this platform? This might take us right up to the central terminal. We have one over here, too! I think both sides need to activate them for the platforms at the same time! But first, a robot! So the time's finally right? come. Right, robot? But, given all we've gone through to get here... Can't picture it letting us go up that easily. Yeah. Should we still try it? If it's our way forward, it's our way forward. Kia, and Lapis too. Care to do the honors? Okay, certainly. And then a robot. That is one thing. I feel like there's not, I mean, maybe I'm speaking a little too early, but I feel like it's not really that much interesting to fight in the retributive tower compared to like other final boss fight sections or final dungeon sections in the game. Because like, best case scenario, we fight robot versions of characters we've already fought before. Wait, I can sense something. Yeah, coming from a cell away. Weapons out! It's a robot! It's the Reverie Corridor Robots! So, it's a robot version of a robot we've already fought what before. I think we've seen these guys before. I was never under the illusion that this ride would be a peaceful one. But these are all that stand between us and the central terminal. What did the robot do? Is simple. Okay, but they got right. Kill him good. Wazi's party got the cube. Here are our last steps before the end. I don't even remember what this Counting guy did. I mean, I remember cube lord. Right. I feel like Watch he was yourself. so hard. Oh, okay, we just die on the first turn. Okay, you didn't instant cast a spell. Okay, I don't think you had a... 
I still have kidding. much to learn. That's it for me. <laughs> Not here. Leave in combos, I must. Let's go. All right. Engaged. Here I go. Not happening. I misjudged you. Not happening. I mean, worst case scenario, we have to do it with the back one. Everyone. Wazi's back line is at least has a few courts. This will be a true test. Good. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Time's okay. tip. My turn. We can work with this. Moving out. Okay, stealth for now. I'll take it from here. Win. Raise me whole. Just don't hit Wazi. God damn it. I'll take it from here. This is literally the one thing you weren't allowed to do. God, the delay's gonna be so fucking big. Um. Will this increase your recovery, Tom, before you can do anything, though? Because, you know, there's always a huge delay for you can ever actually move. Oh, thanks. You gotta be kidding me. I'll take it from here. Kind of an idiotic start to the fight. I don't know why they do the whole... The enemies can always hit all four of your characters on the first turn. No matter where you're positioned. Shit's so annoying. Forward. Oh. They're down. Too slow. Okay, God, you're spitting outright fucking there. Just don't die. My turn. Okay, that's just the you take damage field. Okay, you can move whatever the burn is, it shouldn't kill you. What a drag. We may as well have you do your thing. Come on, baby. Okay. So then we want to assault going. Guardian. My turn. Arcus active. Thanks. Cut. This is it. Too slow. I mean, Let's we should begin. be kind of fine now. Main thing we're gonna need to remember. I mean, granted, there may be like an enhance or something, but remember, before we win, make sure we have BP. Cut! They're down! Too slow! Moving out! Mm. Yeah, do it with him. There! Too late! What a drag! Maybe I think it's better. Well, this is 60. Crap. And it gives us a little speedy boy. Not my finest. Arcus active. Here I go. <sighs> yeah. Come on, baby. Okay. Give me Joshua. I think Arios is more damage if he crits, but his Go crits aren't as likely as Joshua's crits. And you could do that. Oh, do we have Accelerate on this party? No. Because you have your illegal white decoration that I wasn't able to change. Well, I, I kind of forgot about it. I do it like this. Carnage me? Probably does more damage. I think our. I don't, I don't know. Who do I care more about getting CP? Probably Arius, because he doesn't tick up naturally. You're right. 
They're off guard. Too late. Let's begin. Yeah, yeah, damage Randy, you fool. You stupid idiot. You don't even know what you're doing, do you? Oh. I mean, you should... They're well, down. actually, I don't know if you'll get a scripted gotcha. breakout because you're on, a baby. random monster. Crap. Come on, baby. An opening. Gotcha. Moving out. There. Too late. Come on, baby. An opening. Gotcha. Ready to go. How's strength looking? Uh. Okay. Go ahead and early lightning sword. Moving out. To a. I mean, I think you're just dead. Let's begin. Like, I don't know if you'll ever get to go. It's kind of funny. You tried to grief oh. my ass and... They're down. Look what happened. Gotcha. Yeah. You're right. Look where it got you. Got him. Too late. My turn. Remember BP. Come on, baby. We're not quite gonna be able to kill you. Thank you. This is it. Too slow. Moving out. Mm. How? I've got this. Just... An opening. Got you. My turn. This should kill you. He almost hit for max damage, kind of. <laughs> it almost looked like it. Like, you know, the damage cap was non, 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 non. On to the next step. That was funny. That went from like, holy shit, this is impossible, to actually we just instantly won. <laughs> this needed the one evasion. Of course I'd improve. You ain't seen nothing yet. There we go. Now that's the easy fight. A true warrior always seeks improvement. Wazi's squad is much better <laughs> than Reen squad or Kurt's squad. More polished by the day. Diligence is its own. Do we have a little BP? So we're not completely fucked at the start, potentially. Won't escape! It's down! Too slow! Don't one-shot me off. God fucking damn it. But Elliot should res. It was foolish. Now. Sucks that Kurt died. Just get out of there, I'll buddy. You get up in that ass. Now. I mean, damage dealt is much less bad than a. Uh... Uh... God damn it. S sorry, everyone. Don't escape. I don't know. Don't escape. Maybe guys are just solo. Don't escape. Don't escape. Don't escape. Don't escape on me now. Ah, shit. Never mind. Uh, I don't know who has reses, if any. Green starts stealthed. But we still can't disorder. I mean, I think we just need a better start. So I think we're going to go ahead and mulligan this one. Well, I mean, let's, let's give Gaius his shot. Won't escape. Still not okay. good enough. You got his shot. Got you. My turn. 
Toa, you're kinda set up. You're not weak to sp you're weak to space, which I don't have. Yeah, nah, just take me I'm out. This will be fine. Ready? <laughs> I said, we all <laughs> keep her safe. Let's go. The only time Whoa. Helix will ever crit. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. A powerful. Okay, the there we go. Yeah, I was foolish. Yeah. Now I just need you to not get hit. Won't escape. Let's go. Let's go. On me now. Fortunately, we can't actually make use of this. <gasps> Leave it to me. Now. Resonant. Yeah. Arcus All right, Kurt. It. Get back in there. Leave it to me. Then you. You're not buffed or anything. Arcus activate. Huh? I appreciate it. Just go ahead and get the, well, the damage in there. Yeah. Start building our BP back up. Don't miss it now. Too slow. On me now. <laughs> Gouchers? Yeah. That mute me. Okay, muted Kurt. Yeah, yeah, because he has a grail locket. I would like the B pizzle. May I attain the bee puzzle? Yes, yes, I may. Hmm. I may not actually. No, we still may. Uh, Very well. Because Kurt Vander is here. Let's go. To do his thing. Called Don't Stand Next to Usus, please. Right there. There. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. All right, now you can start doing some damage. Yeah. Well, this gets down. Too slow. Are you okay? You have my th damn you. Powering up. There we go. Come on, just crit. Huh. You gotta got a 50 50 chance. It's down! Too slow! It's my go! God, evasion is so dumb. Uh, huh? Very well. But it's like, what else am I gonna do, man? What else this guy is gonna do? Here we go! I mean, at least you're on balance. I'll handle it. Very well. This. It's my turn. Nice crit. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, um. Anything else you want to do? Aren't you good? Guess you could boost your speed. Powering up. Come on, this time you got to yeah. crit, right? Statistically, there we go. Huh? I don't want him to crit me. My this might break him. Almost. Leave it to me. You know Albion Wolf? You do. This will break you. Yep. The question is. Arcus activate! Now! How much of a delay do we think we're gonna get? Because we actually have Accelerate. Because I'm like, I'm, I feel like if we break him, do I think we're gonna go fast enough? 
a five delay. I trust in you, sis. Because if Usus, this should, the delay should be enough that Elliot will get to go again, granted. I mean, is our accelerator really going to do all that much? Probably not, but. And we may not even go for it. What the fuck? That did absolutely nothing? Yeah. I mean, my plan worked. Okay, you do slightly resist, and part of your damage amp comes from Mercurius. So if you're not actually hitting a weakness, you do shit damage. Like, I mean, do I want to accelerate? It's not really the best squad for accelerating because our S-Crafts are shit. So let's see, we accelerate, we get two free BP. From curtain them. We'd have one BP to start. We wouldn't be able to get instantly get a delay up or anything. So I think we just play it safe. Yeah. Park is act huh? It's my go. Uh... Oh, now. Too slow. Huh? Not today. Yeah. Elliot, you're too fast. I don't actually need you to go this often. Uh, Leave it to me. You're eating up my high heavens. Arcus, activate. Huh? Let's go. Good job, oh, Kurt. Boy. Good job. Powering up. Yeah. Uh, huh? Please stop. On me now. It's down. Too slow. Leave it to me. Ah, uh, you got no fucking mana, dude. Regen isn't ooh, that sussy. But I mean, if he can't leave it to me, hit our other character. Now, I mean, he did hit Elliot when he was really far away with that one attack that he hasn't used a single time yet. Yeah, leave it to me. How? It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Marcus, activate! That's still not oh no. good enough. Gaius, buddy. Yeah. Huh? I really don't want anyone else to get smacked. I have my thanks. Man, I completely forgot about the CP oh, region game. that gives as well. No. Too slow. I won't let we haven't you. really used Elliot since like the start of the game. Leave it to me. And he does not have that in at least in the difficulty mods, so I'm not really used to that. We need this. I think we can get away with just Saffron. Very well. Uh... There we go. Let's go. My turn. Get in that ass. There. One of these days there. that attack will crit and then, it's oh man, you'll be so sorry. Uh, powering up. Sir, please stop ulting and healing. Not today. It's my go. Uh, 
don't escape. All it's part down. of my master plan. I definitely intended for him to proc inside and not be able to be hit there. Huh? I definitely didn't like just not look at his HP and notice he was going to be dropped to a scary amount. Don't escape. Now. Too slow. It's my turn. Okay, so you're dead. Like the it's my turn. Arcus, activate. Let's go. Go, guys. Finally, it is crit. There. There. Think. Probably just do a regular attack into S Crafty. Yeah. Now, too slow. I mean, there shouldn't be another fight after this, but just in case, let's yeah. try not to use Kurt's thing. All right, that wasn't so bad. Fucking horsey boy was harder. This was a waste of my time. Let's go. Look at that, man. Use this little 116, man. He's getting up there. He's almost a real boy. I mean, stats don't matter that much. I mean, the main thing is like upgrading crafts can be important, but use, we don't use useless crafts. So like he's missing out on like maybe, you know, eight speed or something and like a hundred arts by being low level. It's not really like a big deal in the slightest. I've only just begun. I need to keep getting better. Turbulence 3? I don't think I've ever used this ability in this game. It's not bad, it's just not good. Yay, I did it! Guys' other crafts are all way better. A matter, of course. Yay! <laughs> nice! That'll <laughs> nice! Not much of a surprise. Yeah, that is definitely one black mark against this section as a final dungeon, is there's no interesting fights. And that's not like, I mean, it's just because like the way they've written themselves in the story, right? Because there aren't really any antagonists. It's just Evil Reen. And that's it. Looks like we made it through. Because generally, I mean, that's one thing that all the Trails games have done a pretty good job of. Uh, the exception of, of CS1. CS1 is probably previously was the game with the worst Final Dungeon. I mean, I guess technically CS2 if you count the True Every Corridor, but the Infernal Castle was... If you, if you ignore every cutscene in the Infernal Castle, uh, the fights on paper are cool. If you just don't pay attention to what happens afterwards, they're cool. CS3's uh, Grawl, that's a great boss rush. CS4, great boss rush. Uh, going back to Zeros is a little meh. Um, probably would have been the s one of the worst. Azur's great boss crawl. Sky 3, Sky 3 didn't really have a boss crawl, but it was kind of cool seeing them use three different parties. That was something that isn't really utilized very often in JRPGs. Probably the main big big example is Final Fantasy VI. Did something very similar with like three separate parties. Um, Sky 2, great boss crawl. Sky 1, eh, you know, not nearly as good, but it's also the first game, so it gets a lot of like, y you know, you can't really hold it against it as much because the stakes are much lower as well. There hadn't been enough time to introduce, like, you know, cool new characters to be interesting to fight. Yes. Go. It, easy. I can't go easy. I thought I'd never see you again. What are you talking about? How could you, Rufus? I never said you could leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you realize that I didn't have the luxury of choice. I did worry about whether we'd be able to reunite. Same here. 
Pat's on the back all around, team. Oh, I wish those things made it a little easier for us, though. Maybe it wasn't easy, but that just proves how far we've come. Looks like they were the last line of defense, too. Then that way must be... Yeah, that room should be where the central terminal is. Mana is flowing with incredible force from within. But no wind, that's how we know it's evil. Amazing we can feel this much with those doors taking the brunt of it. What's the verdict, LP? This is it. Elysium is on the other side. And there can be no doubt. He's doing the eye thing. inside me is resonating with more force than ever before. I feel like if I let my guard down for even a moment, that'll be the end of me. Oh, how awful. So this here's really our final stop. All the answers we've been seeking are just a few steps away. So let's bust those doors open and get them. And stop the Divine Lightning from firing. Now canonically, if they just uh, locked the doors, we would not be able to break through. You know, if we couldn't get through the door in the factory, we're fucked. That, that's a big ass door. Hmm. If my thinking is right. You okay, Lloyd? What's on your mind? It's nothing. As soon as we're ready, we should go. I'm doing big brain things, I. Right? This is most likely going to be our final battle. I'm overclocking my brain. Lloyd and Reed's teams are reunited. It's not possible to reconfigure your party. Reed and Lloyd must have- God damn it. Can I put you and the guys in the back line at least? I mean, like, no offense. I'm just like, we use you for the entire game and Lloyd is broken. Reed's strong, but Lloyd is just fundamentally broken if you use him right. Who's the damn final squad? Kurt, you still, you haven't quite shined yet. I don't know, man. You guys have to be here. Arius, you've had your fun. Get out. Wazzy, you're still cool. It's got to be characters I've already used that are already set up. Rufus, you can chill on the back line. Kurt, Randy, Wazzy, and... I mean, maybe if Toll was set up. Okay, you're actually set up. Well, isn't that a quinky dink? Well, well, well. Kurt, Randy, Wazzy, and Toa. What a what a final squad. What the hell? Why are you so high level, Toa? What the frick? Joshua's also. I mean, Joshua is kind of just better than Kurt. I mean, Kurt has the great swords dance utility, but that's not... I mean, it makes him a good character, but it makes him a good character to sit right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh... I, honestly, Rufus, go away. <laughs> You're not set up. You're mostly set up. Who else were we using earlier? Eusis and Elliot. Elliot will be there in spirit. The ghost of Elliot passed. Granted, High Heavens is... If you can generate the BP, it's better. Can this squad generate BP? Eh, not really. That's actually probably a big weakness for it. But we can give Kurt some extra crit stuff. Like, we can give him some of Arios' things. I mean, realistically, I should just use Joshua. Hmm. I was trying to think if there's anybody else who I think would be fitting. Are cool to bring. I mean, I do kind of like our backline just being the previous protagonist. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. 
Quasi or Elliot, though. Honestly, Quasi, you're cool, but like, Elliot has been with me through thick and thin. I already have Joshua. There's Sigma Male Operation. That's a really good. Also, Noble Arc isn't bad. Sure. Eustace, you can be there in spirit. So we have, we almost have the Beetle Bros in spirit. I mean, what is Estelle if not cool Gaius? Because they use long weapons and that's about the extent of the comparison, but you know. Kurt, Randy, Elliot, and Toa. It is all CS characters though. It is all CS characters. Well, I mean, Randy, you're, I mean, you're kind of a CS, you're technically in as many Cold Steel games as you are in Crossbell games, but. All right. Reverend Quarters open once more. No further adjustments can be made upon advancing. Ensure that all your characters, including those in your active, not in your active party, oh no, are prepared for battle. Ensure all characters, all 45 characters are prepared for battle. Fuck you. Eat my whole ass, all right? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Cause it's like, I feel like I should go beat the New game. Visitors, or start beating the game. Okay, maybe we'll have something here because I'm like I need to set up I'll, I mean I should set up the back on at least to like a somewhat degree being forced because I mean I could have just used the two parties I just set up but they're like hey use Reen and Lloyd I'm like I don't want to use Reen and Lloyd you just feel something weird you know it's like our memories were just rewound a little bit it was a hiccup with the sinking in the real world that's kind of worrying okay so we just like think it's still right before we go to the retributive tower, I guess. Guess it doesn't really matter, though. We still gotta do what we gotta do here. Yeah, let's go back to train and take down that tower. Okay. Well, a little blip to, to get rid of the cognitive dissonance of like, hey, we're about to go fight Elysium. Well, you know, maybe I should Mr. go do a daydream. We want to want to get any shards. We could add more mini missions that I'll never complete. Uh, uh. Here, take me to seven. New features available. And that'll probably be as high as we go. Confirming rank points accumulated. Well, I suppose. I guess we could pause and set up. Because I mean, let's look. What the hell? This is not my squad. Well, Rever tree me first. Visitors reinvigorated. The, where, where the hell is my squad? I don't remember who I had. God damn it, Reen. All right. Here's what we'll do. We will. Initializing trading process. Uh, the curios. Curio, oh Forte, you get blue hair for Ash. Oh, oh, oh. How do I trade stuff? Is that here? Activating requisitions program. Anybody want a slot upgraded? Who are we using again? What about what about the Elster? I feel like you're not really that limited, bro. Where the fuck are you, you little asshole? Oh, I got no space quartz. That's cool. That's pretty cool. All right, here's what we'll do. We will pause for a second and I will get everyone set up, maybe make changes. I don't know. And then I guess we'll go start the final boss. I don't know. I don't really have like that much time to record. We'll see, because I kind of expected that to take longer, but then I re kind of remembered. Oh, yeah, there's going to be no like boss fights beforehand. 
Or like, I mean, really they should have at least, instead of just repeating the Reverie Corridor fights. Which granted, I mean, they weren't even really real repeats because like Cube Lord didn't even get to do his cube thing. Like his one attack that kind of made him like a unique enemy he didn't have anymore. Um, I mean, they were just like basic auto attack guys. I mean, it should have just been you fight like, you know, interesting robot parties. I mean, it wouldn't have that much meaning to it either because they're just robots, but I don't know. Maybe fight like, you know, configurations of characters that you wouldn't have made sense to fight previously in the series or something. Kind of basically similar to the, I mean, basically the mid bosses in the Reverie Corridor. Like that's what we should have been fighting instead of just the main bosses that are super boring and who get, who cares? But yeah, we'll we'll be back, and I guess we'll start kickstart the end of the game. All right, we're back. Kurt Vander is here, ready to lead his squad to victory. Onward, onward we shall go. Um, I guess we'll briefly go over what we set up. We changed Kurt slightly. He's a little bit better. He's got Woden, which I think is better than Solo. I mean, they're almost exactly the same. Why do I think Woden's better? Actually? Oh, yeah, yeah, because the first part's better. Yeah, because this is Brigand as your first skill, which is bad. Um, and now that your crit rate's high enough, we can justify Kusanagi. You're almost the same. Do we have any better hit thingies? Maybe? <laughs> Nobody knows? Uh, oh yeah, Estelle, you should have Domination. Do you want that? I don't know to equip it. Sure, you don't really need Impede. You exist for the one big bop? Am I- oh, we're on the wrong- I was like, I can't fucking see it? God, there's too many damn courts in this game. Like, I wonder how much of my life is spent scrolling through this damn menu of courts. You, okay, I guess you should have something. I don't know, man. Uh, sure. Do I want you to have this? Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Okay, you probably shouldn't have infinity. Do you want, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. Just send me. No further adjustments can be made. No, I mean, when it says inactive party, it does just mean like your backline, right? It's not actually just gonna like randomly pick people to throw into combat or something. Well, if they do, hopefully Fee will be in the party. When <laughs> granted, Fee's not good with that auto CP up. She can't solo carry unless she has that. I don't know. We'll just see how it works. I only have like an hour or so more to record anyway. So if we have to like restart and redo stuff, it's not really that big a deal for me. In all honesty, I probably will have to like redo stuff. What but... an incredible structure. So that high point is where this tower fires its divine lightning. You can still hear the battle going on outside through there. They're still putting it all on the line for us. Zalber Soldat should stop moving after we disable Elysium. Do you see the central terminal? It's that. Well, start smacking buttons. It's the companion cube. <laughs> it's the evil sonorous exactly seashell. Like. It's a black version of the sonorous seashell. So they really did duplicate it. They must have used the same method to duplicate the Emperor's artifacts. Now we know where the fight to get the shell was a little too easy. It looks like it's fitted to amplify Elysium's power. That would be correct. It's me, Evil Rain. I have my mask back. I have been anticipating your arrival. Welcome, Reed Schwarzer and Class 7. The same to you, Lloyd Bannings. Special Support Section. And to you also, former Governor General Rufus Alborea. To the Bracers, Grawlswear. To those once with Ouroboros, or the Garden. 
and a special welcome to you, Elysium's first administrator. I guess that's supposed to be the name of their society. You have assembled a fine, formidable crew. <laughs> Knew we'd run into you. But at the end of the day, isn't he just Reen? <laughs> Even, like, Reen with superpowers is still, you know, just Reen. So he's a replica of Reen's? How does he know about us? Must be playing dirty and using Elysium's power. What? This, this feels somehow different from when we met in the castle. My chest feels really... really... What is this? Oh, they're like remembering. Why? I... I don't understand. What? Why do I feel like this? What's gotten into you all? There's something... very different about this one. He's not like the Divine Blade of Wind or McBurns. I do like Ellie being like, what the hell's wrong with you guys? Oh, did you, like, uh, care about Reem when he blew himself up for no reason whatsoever? Okay, it wasn't really no reason, but, um, I do think, it, I mean, this is, I, I don't know if I should even get into it, but thinking back, it is really funny that, uh, that was billed as, like, the original ending, right? Because it really makes the reen Osborne fight, like, completely and totally pointless, considering Osborne's plan was still to have whoever wins just blow up and kill themselves. It, it's just kind of like a... I mean, like, I like the idea of, you know, self-sacrifice and stuff as, like, a thematic element. I actually, I do like that. And I do like endings that aren't necessarily, like, super happy. But it is kind of funny that... Uh, that was, like, just the original plan was just to, like, fucking die. Which kind of made the whole, like battle royale a little pointless at the end of the day like who actually won the supreme leader was a perfect replica of me but he everything about him outside of what we can see of his face is different but when i look at him i can't help but feel he has to be reen just just who are you i have already answered that question i am <laughs> Does he get does he get Ghost Millium and Crow to help him out? That'd be kinda cool. Huh? His name is still No. It's as though his very being is somehow distorted. So I was right. What's that, Lloyd? Lloyd? You figured it out. Now you know the truth behind what's happening. And what stands behind Elysium. Huh? How Keo's like, oh yeah, I knew the whole time because I'm super special and smart. What are you talking about? I wasn't going to tell you though. I thought Elysium alone was at the center of this. Is that not the case after all? It's not. What we're seeing shouldn't be possible. But the Reen standing before us is as real as the Reen who stands with us. He's just a version of him had he made a different choice in life. Wait. I don't understand. Neither do I. The basis for my belief stems from what happened two and a half years ago in the Azure Tree. There we learned a truth that shocked us to our core. We learned that every one of us in the SSS had died. In battle. Oh, that's still such good art. The truth weighed upon the little girl left behind. It weighed so heavily upon her that she used the power she possessed to undo their deaths. It was something she should never have done, and she knew it. She couldn't help it. Kia. The power to rewrite destiny at work. We never had the chance to hear much about that side of events. It happened when we were dealing with the cult then? We only learned of it in the Azure Tree ourselves. That's right. 
We've got no one to blame but ourselves for not being strong enough to stop it. Then, Mr. Grimwood and Bell went on to try and use that power to remake all of Crossbell. So... so what's happening here is... The world in which we live now is but one of an infinite number of paths history could have taken. The smallest of differences in how we live and act can have massive consequences for the future. Can you think of times where your actions could have led to a radically different future? <sighs> when I took all of the Great Twilight's curse into myself, if we didn't have the Holy Beast's Earth in prison... No. It can't be. Then you're who I am. Yes. I mean, it's still not answering like the main question that's important, which is, well, how is he here? Which is like, that's the important thing. You know, this isn't a revelation. I am another future calculated by Elysium. Another Rain Schwarzer. From the Great Twilight's Curse. I was given form. Call me Ishmelgarim, if you will. Hey, he gets a title card. That's... Honestly, the normal sword looks cooler. A sword of the end? Or Itachi of the End, in this context. Th then you really are... Are you Ishmelga? No. I am Ishmelga no longer. Nor am I Reen Schwarzer. I am what would have been had destiny followed a different course. Couldn't you be blown up? After the final rivalry, the Ashen Knight and I departed the Imperial Fortress. Beyond the atmosphere could be found a space ruled by naught but an all-consuming darkness. There, Reen Schwarzer and Ishmelga were swept in a vile, unending cycle of fusion and domination. Of denying one another self in a battle for control. That's really cool art. This conflict within us birthed a perennial being who had long forgotten what it once was. It was a rivalry staged to never have a victor. All that was left was to wander the darkness and endure the hopeless battle within. That was its fate. That's... awful. But kind of cool. How could you endure so much torment? <laughs> Milliam and I couldn't stick with him till the end, huh? We were already at our limit as it was. If we had just done a single thing different... This could have been my future. Elysium made untold calculations to see this potential future. Just because you guys didn't have the magical deus ex machina. And through it, found evil incarnate in the form of Ishmelga. Is that what eroded Elysium and purged Lapis from its system? Yes, that's how it sounds. But why? That doesn't make any sense. You have my thanks, Reed Schwarzer. Why would that have eroded its will? What? What? What does that? What does that mean? Why would that really have affected? I mean, Elysium could predict any number of realities that are so much worse than that. I mean, there's the other obvious reality where they don't kill Ishmelga and Ishmelga kills everyone. That's worse. I, I don't see why that would be such a shock, and erode its will. Or what? When I first awakened here, my existence was still unstable. 
the unending conflict festering within. I mean, they're not explaining the thing that needs to be explained. Like, did he travel through the dimensions somehow? Which, I mean, is fine. Just say that. But two beings who cannot coexist resonate with one another. Assimilate when they meet. That resonance allowed me to break free from my stalemate and establish a self in this world. My existence is a higher being, an amalgamation of Reen Schwarzer and the Great One. <clears throat> so that's why you're here. I mean, they're, they're really just like glossing over the actually important thing. Then everything you've done here was in order to destabilize <laughs> Reen's existence and establish her evil in his stead. Your thanks leads me to believe we were destined to come here all along. We may well have. Elysium's existence means our being here could have been within its calculations. Unbelievable. You did manage to surprise me in one way. Because in theory, shouldn't he have, like, manifested in his own reality? Not this one that's different? I mean, the idea of him being able to travel through a dimension or something isn't that crazy. It's been hinted at previously with situations like McBurn and just like the demons in general. You know, those may necessarily or could possibly be from like another dimension or like another reality. But like, it's just kind of annoying that they're just ignoring that. Like no one's asking, well, how the hell did you get here? They're just saying that he manifested, but like... Yeah, and I expected the first to reach the truth would be Reen Schwarzer, or Elysium's former administrator, not a mere police officer. Hey, detective bannings to you? It's all inexperience. You gave me yours, and I used the evidence found from mine to come to a conclusion. Maybe I needed my friend's help laying out the pieces. I got an achievement. But it was thanks to them that I had those pieces to put together. I wasn't alone. And that made all the difference. Lloyd. Friendship speech. So it's time you talked. What are you trying to do? I'm, I'm a little annoyed that they glossed over the thing that actually needed to be answered, but whatever. You're only here because Elysium's calculations found you as an alternate possibility, right? What's your goal here? What drives you to make a mess of the entire continent? Okay, and this is the second good question. A mess? What a peculiar way of putting it. My goal is to save this continent. This world. You thought Elysium finding me was coincidence. It was anything but. Elysium may have been corrupted by my influence. But its goal has remained entirely unchanged. It found precisely what its instincts drove it to find. It sought the hero who ended the twilight, Green Schwarzer. And it sought the cause of the twilight, Ishnaka. All for its goal of uniting the continent and gifting it eternal peace. You know, that's fun. I I'll buy that. What? Now, why didn't you get, you know, Goodreen who won instead of Badreen who didn't win? Because he didn't have the magical MacGuffin. Nothing you've said has made any sense. It's also completely incongruous with your actions. The Great Twilight made clear the imperfections of humanity and the evil that pervades it. I mean, no, I, think, I think that actually kind of makes sense, right? Especially for like a computer, right? You're not going to have the same sort of value of human life. Um, it'd be much easier to see it in a utilitarian sense and in a utilitarian sense uniting all the countries uh, would stop war now of course there's you know nuances in there of how long lasting that peace would be and you know revolts and stuff like that which would cause loss of life that aren't necessarily warfare but Elysium knew it would keep inviting upon itself disaster if left to its own devices and it would not be long before the next. My actions seek to remove the seeds of disaster before they can bloom. Who better to act 
than one who is the embodiment of evil and the hero who sacrifices himself to bring salvation. Okay, so like, you know, this Reen would have the, the will to do it, but normal Reen wouldn't. Elysium could seek no one finer. I mean, that makes sense. I buy that. That's a fine explanation. Um, there is a part of me that's like, hey, remember the Oreo? Because this is basically the Oreo. But... I'm digging it. I'm still just annoyed that they didn't say how the hell he manifested. Because that doesn't feel like something Elysium should be able to do. <sighs> or at the very least, like, if you're going to say that that's what happened, like, say it? Or have characters be like, holy shit, that's crazy. Then this tower is for that purpose. Everything that's happened has led to here, it would seem. I stand before you to carry out that which Elysium deemed best after untold calculations. What about the part where we win, though? Is that... did it calculate that? Once the world's recreation is complete, humanity will ascend to its next stage of evolution. Like, I feel like Wiseman used that exact same line. Like, I feel like, I feel like there's some, some uh, plagiarism going on here. You're making quite a number of assumptions. Elysium's nature is to observe and to calculate, nothing more. It can't draw conclusions or understand what's best for this world. And you had better stop acting like it does. Discovering and realizing you was never intended in its realm of possibilities. All you are is a bug in the system. Mr. Anderson? You tell him, Lapis. Phew, she's on fire now. You're very confident in your ignorance. That's a, that's a baller line. Elysium expelled you for standing in the way of its objective. You aren't half the expert, you. And you aren't half the expert on this world. I never realized how much I didn't know till I had my body. I didn't know about all the different kinds of people who lived in Crossbell and Erebonia. I didn't know of the hardships they had to endure just to live their lives, or of the strength they mustered to overcome them. I didn't know how delicious lunch or dessert was. I didn't know they could taste better just by eating them with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was so much in this world that can't possibly be calculated. So Elysium's logic is flawed. Any conclusion it tries to reach without knowing what I know now can't be anything but. And if it dares to force such a future on us, well, as its former administrator, I'm going to stop it! I do think it's kind of funny, her doing a little twirl in the middle of her speech. As if you have the strength. What do you expect to achieve alone? Bro, this room has 50 people in it. She's not alone. We're right here with her. Now that I know the truth, it's hard to look at you and not feel all kinds of emotions. I wonder if I'm only standing on this side because I was a little bit luckier. Or maybe the karma from that has given me these changes to my hair and eyes. But I'll balance it out by bringing you back, Reen. No one should have to bear the burden of saying goodbye to everyone they love. So I want to free you from your curse. I want to share with you everything our father, master, and loved ones wanted for us. Reen. Not often you get a chance like this. We're going to make you see just how much it hurt to lose you. I'm beating your ass. The instructor's down. It's up to us to cheer him right back up. It's funny how much they're like us. Yeah, becoming Junior Bracers helped us form so many wonderful connections. They started in Liberal, then they grew to Crossbell, and even Erebonia. No man is an island, and our bonds give us the strength to surpass anything life throws at us. You have been behind everything that's plagued Crossbell since the day of the signing ceremony. Ishmael Gareen. 
We will be placing you under arrest for its illegal occupation and subsequent large-scale terrorism. <laughs> Only then. That's so funny. Can we call this case closed? We have no reason to hesitate. Hey, interdimensional police, entity. As human beings, it's our duty Putting to see this through. Put your ass in a box. We went through a hell of a lot as old co-workers. So I've got no problem knocking you on your ass when you're out of line. How are you going to put him in jail? Like, real talk. Enough. I tire of this. I do think it would be so funny you if they put him in jail, though. In standing in the way of this world's rebirth. Like, you know, he doesn't get, like, you know, killed and dissipated back. We straight up put him in the damn box. What? Oh, that'd be so funny. He's just <laughs> chilling <laughs> next to Dieter. It's time you learned oh, God. how heavily your fate rests in my hands. It looks like they may be randomly this picked party members to fight. Be united, and it will do so atop your corpses. Which is not cool. May we be better? Maybe it's just they're fighting behind us as like a. World. You're in this line. Hey, he's got a uh, dude's attack. A trove of brain. The squad is not all right. Are you okay? We didn't die. <laughs> Thank you. My I'll stats. Take you to a world of fantasy. I do wonder if Estelle yeah, is uh, gonna that. sue Lapis for stealing her friendship speech from Sky Two. I feel like it was. Ve They're relatively you similar. I appreciate it. It is only one turn. Uh, my turn. My turn. My turn. Very well. Wait. Why do you why do you get 30 CP a turn? What? Oh, no, no, that's the CP region from Elliot's thing. I was like, what the fuck? Why is he getting so much CP per turn? Okay, well, first things first. Give it the Ranster. Here I go. Oh, you're muted? How do you like them apples? I think we should call it here, though. Probably. Um, real talk, I don't have enough time to finish the game today. Um, so I think we're going to call it here. Next time, we will restart the fight with Ishmelga. Ishmelga Reen, which I don't know how I feel about that name. Um, I can't, I don't have any other cool options, so I'm not going to criticize it. But I don't know. I feel like Ishmelga Reen is, it just feels a little clunky. I don't know. I feel like there's a better word out there. I can't think of it though, so it's fine. But we'll call it here, which kind of I, I kind of feel bad to call it here because like we had such a good start there. Uh, I feel like that start could be like really grief. But yeah, yeah, I was really confused over it. Like I was like, why the hell is Kirk getting thirty CP a turn? What the fuck? How much damage do you do? About time I got this. How much does Kirk? Okay, Kirk gets eight. Bro, the squad got fucked. Oh god, he does still have this attack. Uh, this attack is so annoying. Apparently, you can dodge it, which doesn't really... Doesn't make sense to me, because I feel like you shouldn't be able to dodge magic attacks, but apparently your regular evasion works on magic attacks, which... I've never really had, you know, in the previous CS games, I never really stacked evasion enough to notice that. Because it's like magic evasion feels like it should work on, you know, magic attacks, but what do I know? Uh, apparently it's only arts, which doesn't really make sense. Uh, okay, here's the play. Estelle, before we call it, get one turbo bop. I've got this. It's my turn. It was like that's our best damage amp. It's my turn. Let's see what I got. 
Uh, no not... crit and still 100k? Man. I would have actually done like 200k if you'd crit. Alrighty. We'll call it here for real this time. But oh, uh, okay. We'll just keep talking for a second. Just to... I like that scene overall. I mean, there is definitely the part of me that's like... It feels really similar to the Oriel like stuff and like Lapis's speech was good but it does I feel like Estelle's speech in Sky 2 was better um I do like the idea of like evil Reen being the one who would be able to potentially unite the continent you know because he kind of has the or like feeling like he would be the one that's most able to do it because he wouldn't have like the morals or anything to stop him and I, I kind of understand the computer seeing that as, like, the best solution. Because it just doesn't have that same understanding of humanity. Uh, you know, very similar to Wiseman thinking he was doing the right thing. Because he's, you know, a sociopath. It's, uh... Interesting. But overall, I mean, I liked it. I do kind of wish they'd actually explain how the hell Reen got here. Other than just he got... He got manifested somehow, because that's a thing that it can do because reasons. Um, but yeah. I'm ExtraCheesy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.